Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we are looking at the Guilds of Ravnica Guild Theme Boosters. So I honestly have no idea what is in these. Um, I'm as excited as you are to find out. So um, let's start with is it, why not? Um, just pick a guild and stick with it. So um, yeah, nice packaging. Each one contains 35 cards from the specific guild and it includes at least one rare or mythic card and um, it literally says add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck so sure let's also see if I can get into them <laughs> that is the key here can you actually open the packaging? apparently I can okay that's kinda cool comes with a nice little is it insert I assume it's the other guilds for the other guilds uh, security, excellent. Just what I've always wanted. Mm -hmm. And it just comes like a land pack almost. Wonder if... Yeah, cool. Oh, and yes, if you don't already know and you play Arena, you can use that code, play Ravnica, um, and you will get three Ravnica boosters um, to unlock on Magic Arena. Which, uh,. Oh. I have used the code, it does work. So, uh, we have an Is It Locket, always useful. Is It Guildgate, also useful. Uh, maximize Altitude, Gravitic Punch, Chemister's Insight, Maximize Velocity, Direct Current, Piston Fist Cyclops, Goblin Electromancer, Hypothesis, Leapfrog, Goblin Locksmith, Muse Drake, Rubble Belt Boar, Another Maximize Altitude, Shore Strike, Devious Cover-Up, Direct Current, Murmuring Mystic, Cosmotronic Wave, Guild Summit, uh, Goblin Crater Maker, Electrostatic Field, Beam Splitter Mage, Goblin Electromancer, Hypothesis, a Silent Dart, then we've got Invert and Invent, Beacon Bolt, League Guild Mage, Ornery Goblin, Crackling Drake, another Beam Splitter Mage, Another invert invent and a risk factor is the rare. So, yeah, that's kind of a weird little pack. Um, there's like loads of these kind of like, you know, sorceries that target creatures with jumpstart and stuff, and then not a whole lot of creatures to be honest. Like, you've got the, the mystic, the crater mage. The bleed split mage and the electromancers and stuff, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of creatures in there for targets for those spells. Um, and you got the crackling drake, which has flying anyway. So you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could just add in some land, and you've got yourself kind of like a, a weird, almost limited deck, I guess. Um, I wonder if there's some sort of mini event you can run from these. But yeah, that's the is it one. Uh, then we've got Celestia. These are actually a little bit difficult to get into. Which I suppose is good because it means you know that the uh, packs aren't going to drop out of the bottom. The Celestia insert. Let's get rid of all this packaging. I'm gonna keep those there though because they look nice. Uh, get the arena code. Uh. Alright, so we've got Rosemane, a centaur, Celestia Locket, and a Guildgate. We've got Pax Favor, Iron Shell Beetle, Pause for Reflection, Led of Guardian, Venardi Shieldmate, Siege Worm, Hunted Witness. Devkar and Dissident, Skyline Scout, Hitchclaw Recluse, Swarm Companions, Generous Stray, Intrusive Pack Beast, Siege Worm, Take Heart, Pause for Reflection again, Luminous Bonds, Pax Favor, Centaur Peacemaker, Rosemane Centaur again, then we've got Flower and Flourish, Join Shields, Conclave Guild Mage, Lesnia Locket, another Peacemaker, another Swarm Companions, Light of Champion, another Dissident, Another Joint Shields, Simala Woodshaper, Rosemane Centaur, and an Amara Soul of the Accord. Um, 
yeah, not too bad. So 2-2, two, two, uh, green and white for a legendary elf. When she comes tapped, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. So whenever you tap her for Convoke, for instance, uh, the Celestial mechanic, um, you get a 1-1 one, one as well. Or if she attacks, you get a 1-1. One, one, and yeah, just generally decent value card uh, for two mana. So again, lots and lots of guild cards that pretty good payoffs actually. Um, yeah, you could definitely just add some land into that one and probably build a deck. So let's have a look at Demir. These are actually pretty interesting. Um, like they are bringing out a lot of new products to kind of try things out, which is fair enough, you know. Try things out, see what sticks. And these aren't too bad of an idea, to be honest, by the looks of it. So, Demir Guildgate, uh, Glaive of the Guild Pact, Watcher in the Mist, Unexplained Disappearance, Dazzling Lights, Artful Takedown, Dark Blade Agent, Notion Rain, Whisper Agent, Plague Crafter, Sinister Stabotage, Cruel Swarm, Selective Snare, Price of Fame, Hired Poisoner, Vidalk and Mesmerist, Child of Night, Leapfrog, Veiled Shade, Wishcoin Crab, Dowser, Lights, Discovery and Dispersal. Another Rifle Takedown, Wandered Vertebrae, Whisper Agent, Wall of Mist, Demir Spyberg, Nightbell Predator, that's just. that card's disgusting. Um, Tar Plate Agent, Notion Rain, Rifle Takedown, Disinformation Campaign, Capture Sphere, another Dark Blade Agent, and a Gruesome Menagerie. So, 5 mana Sorcery, choose creature card with converted mana cost 1 in your graveyard, then do the same for converted mana cost 2 and 3, return those cards to the battlefield. If there is actually anything of cost of one in this. Because um, there is that one payoff card for uh, Surveil that's one mana, but it doesn't look like there is one in there. You can still cast that even if there isn't one, you just kind of skip the, the converted mana cost one and go straight to two. So you still get like the two and the three back. But yeah, if you're going to build a deck straight out of this, you wouldn't get the payoff from that, like all of the payoff at least from that rare. Um, but no, I mean, there's a lot of removal in that, which you'd expect from Demir, but I think we got a little bit lucky with the amount of removal in that. <laughs> but I mean, if you're after uncommons and commons, just in a booster pack, then these seem to be a good way to go. Of course, if you're deck building with a specific deck in mind, then singles are always going to be the best way to go, but enjoy cracking packs why not go for this so crawl foragers a vigor spore worm oh this is Golgari, by the way i didn't mention that but you can all read hopefully pilfering imp playcrafter pitiless gorgon and the city uprising resume lurcher one thing i've noticed just now is that each of the others had like a guild gate and locket at the beginning or at least within the first sort of three or four cards this one did not uh, Earthwell Trooper, Child Knight, Hitchclaw Recluse, Veiled Shade, Generous Stray, Moodmark Painter, Crawl Foragers, Vicious Rumors, Prey Upon, Seven Strands, Crushing Canopy, Pilfering Imp Again, Golgari Raiders, The City Necrolisk, Crawl Harpooner, Silent Dart, Mulder Hulk, we got Status and Statue, Swarm Guild Mage, Burglar Rat, Ocran Assassin, Prey Upon Again, Another Mulder Hulk, Another Status and Statue, Gatekeeper Gargoyle, another Pitiless Gorgon, Undercity Uprising, and a Pelt Collector is the rare. Um, this is a pretty good card. So one green for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector, put a plus one plus one counter on Pelt Collector. So basically the new experiment one. As long as Pelt Collector has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, it has Trample. So he gets big, gains Trample, and it's a great one drop. So you play a turn one, you hope you curve into a two drop as well that has like two power or something. He gets plus one plus one counter. And you just keep playing bigger and bigger creatures and Pell Collector gets bigger and bigger. So yeah, solid card. Um, and yeah, I mean, as a pack, that was not too bad. And then the final one is a Boros. So it said rare or mythic. We haven't seen a mythic yet. 
I'm sure they do exist, but how rare they are is a different story. So this one at least has the guild gate, but the front again, so kind of strange the Golgari one didn't. I wonder if that's a mistake or if it's just it's semi-random. So a Boris guild gate, Glaive of the Guild Pack. Fire Urchin, Ornery Goblin, Goblin Locksmith, Fresh Face Recruit, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Hammer Dropper, Garrison Sergeant, Boris Locket, Boris Guildgate, Barging Sergeant, Take Heart, Shore Strike, Luminous Bonds, Barging Sergeant, Call the Culprit, Cosmotronic Wave, Sunhome Stalwart, Goblin Banneret, Inspiring Unicorn, Healer's Hawk, Fresh Face Recruit, Wand of Vertebrae, Garrison Sergeant, Legion Guild Mage, Boris Challenger, Rubble Belt Boar, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Hammer Dropper, Fresh Face Recruit again, True Fire Captain, uh, Sweet Cut Dryad, Giant, not Dryad, don't know why I needed to say Dryad there. Here we've got Response and Resurgence, and a Tajik, Legion's Edge. This is just such a good card. Love this card. I've been playing Boros on Arena uh, because I ended up playing a Boros deck in the last pre-release and it, it was just disgusting. It was like the Swift Blade guy, like the Swift Blade Vindicator, is it? Um, play that turn two, play Tajik turn three, and just like swinging for seven damage. It was, it was horrible. Um, so he has Haste and Mentor, and this line is, is amazing. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. So I've had a few people like try and cast like, you know, you know, like deal five damage to a creature on arena and it lets you cast it but doesn't resolve the damage on your other creatures because of Tashik and they're like what just happened and then they start you can see them start mousing over um all the cards and then they hit Tashik and then you just you can even though you can't see your opponent you can see the realization <laughs> um and you can also pay one red and a white to give him first strike until end of turn which is another great ability so just very strong card um, I don't know if it's going to be massively competitive and there was also a second rare in that because response and resurgence is another rare as well so the Boros one was definitely a, a decent pack so response is deal 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature and then resurgence is creatures you control game first strike and vigilance to end of turn after this main phase there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase um, so resurgence is a good portion of that card so yeah these are the guild packs um quite a nice product uh, lots and lots of commons and uncommons in there um with like the one or two rares uh, and apparently mythics but we didn't see any of those but oh well um and yeah like a, a nice little way to kind of get into uh, a specific guild just to to build up your collection a bit more so, and like I said at the beginning, maybe there's a, a limited format where you can kind of buy these packs and then add some land in, and or maybe like buy a booster pack and one of these packs at the same time, uh, build a a deck out of it, and you know play in a, a little tournament or something. So yeah, quite nice. And remember, you can buy and sell any of the cards you've seen in this video on our website bigorbitcards.co.uk. Uh, stay tuned for more Guilds of Ravnica unboxing videos. We'll be doing all of the products that are being released. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.